So, ooh, lighting. Yes, when? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Ariel, we'll get together, girl. So, I'm trying a thing. Maybe this is a thing, maybe not. I don't know. I'm really trying real hard not to ramble right now. I'm an educator, and I don't want to misspeak and say that educators aren't talking because they might be i just don't be watching nothing about education because child listen i work with them kids when i come home that's just kind of like the end of my education life like i said all that to say <laughs> let me come all the way out i'm just like i'm nervous but i'm excited so i'm not act. <laughs> i don't know let's talk about some teacher things y'all like let's talk about it okay so something i really want to address is for real that i feel like mm, it's, it's getting under the radar but we need to talk about it y'all teacher trauma teacher trauma is a real thing okay and you know i'm all about power of the tongue speaking things into existence i don't like to claim certain things over my body because i believe that god's healing me all the time so i don't like to say certain things if my body's not experiencing that, I like to speak contrary to how I feel, right? But I'm gonna try to word this real good so that I'm being transparent, but I'm also not claiming nothing of my body. Y'all, let me tell you something. Teacher trauma is real. And I say that because this is the first time in my field that I have experienced some real life effects from trauma. And I'm just like, sis, you gotta get it together because it's not cute. So let me give you a little back history. So I've been in the education field for seven years now. You can do that math on your own. Um, and I've worked in all types of different environments. I gravitate towards um, less impoverished can you speak child? I thought she had a degree was in English. Um, I think it is impoverished. I don't know what word I'm looking for, but that ain't it, y'all. What I'm trying to say is that I usually be working out in the fields with, um, what is the word, y'all? I don't want to say inner city, because I'm in the city now. I usually work with minorities. That's not good either. I'm making it sound real bad. I work with the babies that be by the wayside. Okay, I work with babies that be by the wayside, okay, that need, need a little bit more love, you know, a little bit more strength. You know, I work with them babies. So I be out there in the streets, okay? This year, it's really like getting to me. And this is not even the hardest school I've been at. Like I've been at some tougher schools than the one I'm at, but I think it's just a buildup of like the year's worth of crack. So in the education field, you know, they teach you I'm not gonna lie, they don't teach you this. You gotta teach yourself. You're supposed to be emotionally stable, right? Like emotional stability is a real big thing. It plays a huge part in your evaluation. It plays a huge part in like your interview. If we're gonna even keep you for next year, like emotional stability is everything when you work in an education. Why? Because stuff is gonna pop off. Now, I don't know if this is like this in a regular educational like setting, but like I said, I work in like inner city, urban, rough and tough like communities, right? So I'm working with the rough and tough and hardest kids. So out there, you really, really do have to have really strong emotional stability, right? Fortunately, I'm a very patient person, real patient. Um, I don't express myself a lot. Like I don't express my emotions a lot. I feel like what y'all see on YouTube, like that's the most expression you gonna get. Like I be out here on YouTube living my best life, what? But in real life, I'm just like real monotone. I'm like robotish, like I'm just one way. Ask my kids, they will tell you like, no, she don't switch emotions. I don't ever know how she feeling. She just one way, like she don't even cry. Like, I don't know. So there's that. Um. So over the years, I feel like I've always like kind of taken pride in my emotional stability. That is one of the strengths that I get a lot of um, compliments on. Like my bosses will tell me that I have really great emotional stability. It's one of the things I get the highest ratings for in my evaluation. However, 
I'm learning that that is not a great thing. Like, good job, you have great emotional stability, you can keep it all together, but sis, let me tell you something. I'm glad you can keep it all together, but sometimes you need to let it out. You know what I'm saying? And what I've recognized over the years is like, I'm not, I don't have an outlet for this career. I just take it all in. Like I'm literally just taking it all in, taking it all in, taking it all in. And I've seen some wild stuff. I've experienced some wild stuff. And I have never actually like taken the time, the proper time to like, Whew, like debrief from that stuff so i feel like this year it's just like a build up and y'all let me give you a huge disclaimer i love my job this is probably the best school i've worked at yet like i love my job i love my babies this has been a really great school year for me like i'm growing i'm learning this is great like i really love my school so it's not like oh my gosh like i hate it I'm not one of them educators, y'all. I love what I do. I love my babies. I love working. Like, I love it all. But it's getting real tough because trauma, y'all. So, in a day, right? Like, schools, you know, have their regular setups, their regular routines, their regular schedules, X, Y, and Z. But because I'm working in these rough areas, like, you'll still have the regular stuff. But things be popping off right so you got your regular fights but then some fights are more severe than other fights you got kids coming in with extreme aggression so like it might not even be a fight it might just be them spazzing out so like you you got a lot of like loud intense noises so you got a lot of screaming you got a lot of yelling you got a whole lot of profanity right you have a lot of physical gestures that you're just not used to like I have a, well, he ain't my baby, but it's a kid right now, like when he get mad, he start punching the lockers. It's just what he do, right? So he don't punch nobody, he start punching the lockers. But like him physically punching the lockers, that's a loud noise. And then the lockers themselves, like that's a big echo, right? So it'd be a lot going on. And then like from time to time might be gunshots in the community that you might hear. So it's a lot, y'all. Like it's a whole lot. And this year, in particular, I feel like it's really building up because like, it's so fast paced. Like, it's just real fast paced. Like, you just never know what's gonna happen. So like, I feel like now I be like on alert. Like, I have successfully desensitized myself. I don't know, to like the things around me, but that doesn't mean that it's not affecting me, right? Excuse me. So if my kids get in a fight, like my adrenaline is pumping pumping but i'm emotionally stable i'm responding i'm very calm like you know i'm moving like swiftly but i'm also moving in a calm manner i'm calming the kids down around me um i'm making sure everybody's good i'm checking in with people you know i'm doing all these things but while i'm like presenting myself in a really calm manner my heart is like pumping, racing, doing this the whole entire time. And it's just like, yo, right? So I don't talk about these things. And I, y'all, I'm using y'all, just, I'm just gonna put it out there. I probably should just be in therapy and be done with it, but we're gonna talk about it because we need to talk about it. So like, I'm like, my adrenaline's pumping, like everything's racing, but I'm not actually addressing anything. You know what I'm saying? So like a fight might happen one day. There are some days when we're on lockdown. Um, we might have some threats in the school. You know what I'm saying? So that's like an adrenaline rush. This is the very first year I've had to deal with medical emergencies. Now this is some real new stuff, y'all. I ain't never had to deal with no medical emergencies. So y'all, I've seen kids go down. Like we got some wild stuff going on in the medical emergency, okay? Like it is wild. Like kids coming in with edibles, not waking up for hours, they might die. Like it's a lot. So like, you know, all this stuff just comes to me. Like I said, you got the fights. You got kids aggressively screaming. Sometimes kids have really like aggressive body mannerisms and gestures. Like just, that's them just like expressing themselves or getting their anger out or frustration or whatever the case may be. Um, you know, kids throwing things, punching things, like I said. Medical emergencies, kids just going down in the middle of the school day, like, like out cold, you know what I'm saying? Seizures, I've seen kids have seizures. 
like and then the ambulance coming the fire trucks come um it's a lot <laughs> it's a whole lot so i said all of that to say that y'all i'm noticing now in my educational field unfortunately that i think that it is time for me to sit down and speak with someone so that I don't grow into an anxious person because I'm starting to like see me respond to little things and I don't like that. So my kids, they be, y'all, my kids real ghetto. They be screaming in the stairwell and stuff, right? Just because, like why, we don't know. They be screaming in the stairwell, but the stairwell echoes. So if a kid is screaming like, I'm all like, hold up, wait a minute, what we doing? Why we screaming? But I'm on high alert because to me, that's triggering, oh my goodness, dangers around. But kids just being foolish, right? So like, there's that, or at the, Jesus, please don't let it be a fire drill. Like, please don't let one of the kids pull the fire alarm because they be doing that. Please don't let it do that. Like, I need to know. Usually when we have fire drill, my principal let us know. But don't let a kid pull the fire alarm because then that is unexpected. So then I have to respond like that alarm sound going off like mm -mm, that's too much for me, right? Like kids doing a lot of motion things or like gathering close together. Like I'm on high alert. Like, oh, wait a minute. Why, why are we moving like that? Like why y'all in a big group or whatever? Like why are we doing all that? Like from where I be at work, it's a three story school. So sometimes you can hear kids running up and down the hallway, but I associate running with a fight because usually um, the fights be happening on the third floor. So when fights happen, you'll hear running, 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 and you'll hear scuffles and you'll hear screams, you'll hear, you're, you'll hear yells, you'll hear all that stuff. So when kids running, just being fools, like, I'm like, oh, wait a minute, like, what we doing? Like, while we running, I hear feet. I'm texting my coworker, like, everything good up there? I hear feet, you know? So, like, things like that, y'all. And it just be building up. But this is a build up from years. This is not like this school year. But this school year, child, it's real rough. It's rough out here in these streets, honey. It's hard. It's real hard. So, yeah, I said all that to say, y'all, that teacher trauma is real because my body is now responding in a tr it, with a trauma response because I've seen some stuff pop off and the things that are popping off are leaving trauma on me. Like, wait a minute, the child just had a seizure. Wait a minute, the child just got knocked out and dragged down the hallway. Wait a minute, the child just pulled the fire alarm, we all going outside. Wait a minute, the child just brought a, a gun into school. Like, it's a lot. And it's real, y'all. It is real stuff. And I just feel like we need to talk about it because like teacher trauma, what? Because no, because I don't know about y'all, but I don't talk to nobody. So after a fight, y'all, I'm shook. I'm literally shaking. I need to talk to somebody. After a fire drill, I need to talk to somebody. After a lockdown, I need to talk to somebody. After we find out that somebody in the building got COVID, I need to talk to somebody. Like I be needing to talk to somebody, y'all. Like, like, hold up, I'm not good. Like, you good? No, I'm not. Like, why did you think I was okay? Cause I got strong emotional stability? No, like, so it's a real thing. Teachers, educators, handle yourself. Like, check yourself. It, like, if something goes on, make sure you're getting that help. Make sure you're letting it out. Make sure you're talking to somebody. If you need a break, advocate for yourself, sis bro. Like, come on, like, y'all, we can't be out here being unhealthy educators. That's just not cute. It's, it's That's ghetto. Like, come on, you know what I'm saying? So you gotta take care of yourself, y'all, because teacher trauma is real. You know, they'll try to downplay it like it ain't. Sis, it's real stuff out here, okay? I hope y'all enjoyed this video. We gonna see y'all, I'm really putting this out to see like, just get the demographic. I don't know who watches my videos. I don't know like if this is even like, if education's a popular thing, my coworkers keep sending me a bunch of teacher TikToks. So I'm like, oh, okay, like it's out here, like people talking and stuff, you know? So we gonna see, we're gonna see like what this video does. I don't care about views and all that stuff. I'm just interested to see if people are interested in hearing, if, 
if there are other educators watching and if other educators are interested in, talk, in talking about the real stuff that be going on in a real school that they want you to be real quiet about but we're not even quiet about it no more but i'm not going to do no shady stuff we're not doing that i'm not going to disclose the school that i work at i will tell you that i work in washington dc i'm not even going to tell you what part because it ain't that many schools just know that i work in washington dc i am a I'm an administrator. I'm not even gonna tell you what grade for. Just know I'm an administrator. Just know that the school go up to 12th grade. That's all I'm gonna say because I don't wanna give away too many details. People start putting stuff together, but oh my God, do you see Miss Battle out here? She out here slandering us, fire her. We're not doing that. We gonna see how this video does and whatnot, but I really hope somebody enjoy I hope somebody laugh because y'all, it's hard to hear these screams and it can get a little stressful in these schools, but it's, it's good when you can laugh about it. So yeah, we're gonna have fun y'all. We're gonna see. So I will talk to y'all later.